Hi everyone, my name is Jillian. Welcome to your weekly Outlook reading. So today I'm going to offer some guidance from the angels, the Ascended Masters through an Oracle card reading for you to provide some support and insight and guidance for your week ahead. So I don't know about you guys, but last week because of the full moon and partial lunar eclipse, it was a pretty intense, heavy week for me. A lot of processing old emotions, sort of buried things that I hadn't looked at for quite a while. And so it was a lot of, um, yeah, it was just like a pretty emotional week. And so I'm feeling like this week is calling us to step into our power. When I first tap into the energy of the collective, that's what I'm feeling. And uh, all morning I've been hearing the song, the warrior song by uh, Nas and Alicia Keys. Um, that's been playing in my mind. So that's what I'm feeling into right away when I tap into the collective energy. But let's definitely pull some cards and um, see what guidance we, uh, we need for the week uh, ahead. So I have uh, Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors deck. But first of all, I wanted to show you guys Look, do you guys like my new mug? Isn't that really cool? It's in the shape of a cauldron. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, I've been drinking a lot of tea, which is the reason why I have tea for this video. And I just feel like I've been drinking a lot of calming, relaxing tea blends, like with chamomile and lavender and different herbs that are, you know, help bring the nervous system into balance. Uh, just because I feel, I've just felt like this week's been pretty jarring energetically. So... I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so let's see what the angels, what angel messages are coming through for the week ahead. Today is sun, Sunday, November the 21st, also the, also the beginning of uh, Sagittarius season. The fire sign of Sagittarius. My sister is a Sagittarius. She was born November the 29th. And I tend to get along really well with uh, people who are Sagittarius Sun. I'm a Leo Sun. It could be that uh, likeness with our fire energy. Okay, so let's see. What do we need to know for the week ahead? And so this is Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck, Angel deck. Seeing if one pops out for us, if one card. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. So the first card is Broken Arrow. And the message is embrace the energy of peace. So what I'm feeling is that because of the shifting energies, because of the full moon last week, lunar eclipse, there's a lot of turmoil energetically. And so what I'm feeling like the message moving into this week is that bringing the energy of peace is going to be the most helpful. I mean, peace is always the best resolution, but this emphasis on rather than moving into conflict with people in our lives, in our primary relationships, our coworkers, whoever we're interacting with on a daily basis, it's bringing that energy of peace. So being the peacekeeper, being the person that brings love to the situation and trying to find resolution through peace rather than trying to be right, rather than trying to push your viewpoint forward, because that's going to bring a lot of just, it's just going to bring you peace. And it's just going to bring peace to those uh, relationships and situations that could otherwise be challenging in the week ahead. So embracing the energy of peace is a big message moving into the week ahead, choosing peace. So when, you know, when our ego kicks in and we want to fight back, it doesn't mean that we don't have healthy boundaries or we don't stand in our truth, but it means like choosing our battles more wisely. Like that expression of, you know, knowing when to something really needs to be said. Mm, and then we have the energy of the sun card. So that's what I'm feeling into about us stepping into our power. And so I think it goes hand in hand with 
finding peace because I think that when we are in that energy of feeling courageous, feeling strong, feeling, you know, when you're just like feeling in that place of like nothing can touch you, when you're in that energy of courage, it's easier to be a peacemaker because you, you, you're not reactive, right? You're in the space of being able to see the bigger picture and you're able to like, okay, I'm standing strong in who I am. I don't need to defend who I am to anyone. So that's where that power comes in. I think that warrior song. And if you haven't heard that song, check it out. I, I love it. It's such an amazing power, empowering song. Nas and Alicia Keys, the warrior song. And I think the, the main verse is like, this is the song of a warrior, my warrior song, brave hearted and strong. And when I think about the energy of the warrior, I think of two beings. I think of Archangel Michael, because he's, you know, that strong angelic energy with his sword and his shield and this idea that like, he's unstoppable, he's untouchable, he's courageous. Um, and then also Mother Mary, because she's so strong in who she is, because she believes in herself, she has faith in herself, and she trusts the process. So there's that kind of balance between like having healthy boundaries, knowing who we are, being strong in who we are, and then also just allowing things to unfold rather than trying to force. So um, Broken Arrow, Finding Peace, and finding courage and that's what I mean by stepping into your power I feel like it's this message that I'm the angels are really coming through with today to be strong in who you are and that's going to allow you to step into your you know step into courage and then be the peacemaker within your relationships feeling if anything else is coming through for us today I'm going to pull one more card from this deck See if there's anything else we need moving into this almost final week of November, which is crazy. Sagittarius season. Let's see if there's anything else that needs to come through. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so aligned. Okay, so this is what just flew out of the deck. Peacekeeper. And the card reads, let go of the need to be right. So it's very much aligned with that energy of stepping into your own power and trusting in yourself, trusting in what you know and not feeling this need to defend what you know or argue with other people or prove or you know, the need to be right, the need to get your point across, but rather standing strongly in your own beliefs and your own power and your own courage and your own inner strength and, and owning that this week. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know in the comment section down below. Please like, share, subscribe, and um, I look forward to seeing you guys all very soon. Oh, one more thing before I go. A crystal that I found really, really helpful that I've been working with just this past week. It's a brand new one. It's black tourmaline. And so I'm feeling like this can be a really great crystal to work with this week because it clears away. It's a clearing stone, but it's also very protective. So rather than letting in the energies that, you know, that don't serve us, it's a really great tool to use to find that place of center and to find our peace within. So if you're looking to work with a, with a new crystal, you don't need one this big, but this is a black tourmaline, protective and clearing. Thanks so much for watch, watching, sending you all much love, and I will see you in the next video soon. One more thing, if you want to learn how to connect with Archangel Michael um, or Mother Mary, the two um, divine masters, angels that I mentioned, I'll, uh, I'll link the videos in the description below. Have a beautiful week.